seriously. You're so named, Yuichi. I don't think so. No, oh, but you are. If you say so. Even today, didn't you end up receiving a volleyball with your head during PE class? You saw that? It's not like I was watching you or anything. So, what were you watching? I was watching, um, the ball, of course. It's tiring to listen to your excuses. What do you mean, excuses? Nothing at all, little Miss Spitfire. Don't call me that. It can't hurt to be a little more honest, Nico. I've never been more honest than I am being now, though. So, you really meant it when you called me lame, Jess? Of course I did. Hmm? My mistake. You're not just lame, but you're dull and unpopular. I get what you're trying to say. You're finally ready to admit it? I guess so. I see very clearly what you truly think of me. Huh? You don't want to keep hanging out with your childhood friend who's not only lame, but also dull and unpopular, right? Huh? From tomorrow onwards, let's not talk to each other anymore. I'm cutting ties with you, get it? No, wait. No greeting each other, too. You're okay with that, right? I said wait! No! I'm not okay! Don't just decide things on your own! I'm sorry! I'm apologizing, so forgive me! So, will you take back what you said earlier? If I have to... Why do you sound so unwilling? Ugh, jeez, if you're gonna cry this much, you shouldn't have said all that stuff in the beginning. But I wanted to. I guess we're cutting ties after all. But I don't want to. Anyway, how many times have we had this argument? I don't know. I'm starting to get tired of it. You can't just be nice about it, you dunce. Why do I have to be nice when you're the one mocking me? Nico Higa, my childhood friend, has a problem being honest about her feelings. I know she likes me, but she prefers to make fun of me instead of being honest with the both of us. I get that she's a girl with the mentality of an elementary school-aged boy. However, it's still not great to hear her call me idiot and dunce every time she opens her mouth. Time and time again, she's made me mad with something she said which usually results in me threatening to cut ties with her. It always ends with her bursting into tears. And then when we do it all over again, rinse and repeat. <laughs> you really are the worst, Ryuji. What kind of guy makes a girl cry? This is why no one likes you. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> What's with the lame-ass responses? Uh, why'd you expect me to say at this point? If I get angry, you'll just cry again. I won't. Yeah, whatever. Ugh, I wonder how long we're gonna keep doing this. Forever. Forever? Yep, we're gonna be together for the rest of our lives after all. I can't see that happening. Why not? But change always comes when you least expect it. It's always a peaceful morning when Nico's not around. On the path to school that we usually walk together, Nico had headed to school earlier that day, saying that she had some work to do for the student council. Don't get all lonely just because I'm not there. That was what she told me last night, but... I mean, I'm having the time of my life. While immersing my thoughts, I bumped into someone. <sighs> oh, sorry! <sighs> I apologize, too. She was a cute-looking girl who I hadn't seen around here before. Are you okay? Th thank you. Any injuries? Hmm, I don't think so. That's good. You're a nice guy. Not at all. I get reminded by my childhood friend every day that I'm inconsiderate, mean, and unpopular. Really? I mean, I don't personally think I'm that bad. Me neither. Huh? I think you're a very considerate and kind person. Thanks. I'm Ryuichi Kisa, a sophomore at Canon High School. I'm Mimi Manabi, a sophomore at Canon 2. We're from the same school? But I remember seeing you before. 
A beauty of this level should have caused a significant uproar among the boys at school. I'm transferring into Kanon High School today. I see, so that's why. But I'm really lucky. What do you mean? I found out today that there's nice people like you at my new school too. I think I'll have a good time there. Let's get along well from now on too. Sure. She had a radiant smile on her face. You mean you attended Alice High before this? That's an elite school, isn't it? You must be pretty smart. Not at all. Cannon High is quite a high-level school as well. We do produce good results. But be warned that idiots abound. <laughs> it sounds fun. Meanwhile, Nico in that moment. Curious. I feel the beginning of a romantic comedy afoot. Higa, can you hold that side for me? Oh, sure. You're actually super honest when it doesn't involve Kita, huh? Speaking of which, has your class been decided? No, nobody's told me which class I'll be in just yet. Maybe we'll be in the same class? I'd like that. I'd be really happy if that was the case. And again, Nico in that moment. Curiouser and curiouser. The tremors of a love quake seem to be intensifying. What are you muttering about? Oh, nothing. Are you sure? You're making a really strange expression right now, though. No, I just have a feeling that Ryuchi is cheating on me. You guys have a thing? Nope, not yet. Not yet, huh? Ah, that's the school over there. Do you know the way to the teacher's room? I'll be fine. It's not my first time here. Uh, if you're sure. You really are a nice guy, Kita. That's not true. Say, can I call you Ryuichi? Of course. Thank you. You can call me Mimi too, then. Got it, Mimi. Let's hope we're in the same class. Yeah. Oh, Kita's here. I bet he's moping around because he had to walk alone today. On the contrary, he has a girl with him, and looks like he's enjoying himself quite a lot. Huh? Whoa, that's a scarier expression than just now. Who the heck is that girl? She would soon have her answer. I'm the new transfer student, Mimi Manami. It's nice to meet all of you. You're so cute! Please marry me! She's out of your league, moron! Let me have it! Oh, Yuichi, thank goodness. It looks like we're in the same class after all. She's calling you Ryuichi? But damn, she looks like an angel when she's ugly. Spill it, Kita, what's going on? Don't tell me Higa isn't enough for you, you two-timer. What's this, Uno Kita? Yes, we actually came to school together this morning. Hmm, you can go to him if you have any questions then. Do you want to sit next to him too? Can I? Thank you so much! Higa, give her your seat, please. Huh? There's no way that's happening! Don't glare your homeroom teacher. How about Kawamoto on the other side, then? Do you mind changing seats? Ah, I don't mind. Thank you. I'll be counting on you, Ryuichi. I I'll do my best. And, um, you're Higa, right? It's nice to meet you. Ew, what are you trying to do? Nico, watch that attitude. Don't wanna. This is my childhood friend, Nico Higa. By childhood friends, you mean the one you were telling about just now? Yeah, this is her. Wait, Ryuichi, you idiot. What exactly did you say about me? He just told me how you call him demeaning names. It seems like he was telling the truth. And what does that have to do with you? Well, we'll see. In the first place, it's a fact that Ryuji is pretty dumb. That's not how I see it, though. What do you know when you only just met him? You're right. That's why I plan to become closer to him from now on and get to know him better. <sighs> Stay away from Ryuji. I don't understand how my relationship with Ryuji matters to you. It matters. I'm his childhood friend after all. Doesn't that mean you've known him the longest? Huh? The air is getting heavier and heavier. Say, Ryuji, could you walk home with me too? 
Mm, I don't mind, I guess. Uh, wait a second! You mean you're not gonna walk home with me today? I mean, we can all walk together. Absolutely not! Why? I don't want to. I don't mind if Higa tags along. Like I said, why on earth do I have to go home with someone like you? Nico, you're being rude! I see how it is. You're taking that woman's side over mine. Ryuichi, you're a bonehead dim one, dummy, dummy, dummy! Ugh, wait. Huh, I won't listen to anything you say anymore. But we're still in the middle of homeroom. Oh, I'm glad you realized that at least. I wouldn't be surprised if you forgot my existence given that you were busy starring in your own very romantic comedy. Can you please not joke around like that? That should be my line. What do you mean? I didn't do anything. In the end, Nico didn't return to the classroom for the entirety of the homeroom period. Ryuichi, can you show me your textbook? Oh, of course. Should we push our desks together? Okay. I can join if you ask me nicely, you know. Huh? Why? It's easier for three people to read two textbooks than it is for two people to read one, don't you agree? But that makes no sense. Thanks, but no thanks. The next lesson is in a different room. Can you take me there? The audio-visual room is that way. Find it on your own. We're going in the same direction anyway, so it doesn't hurt to take her. Why are you acting like this? Thank you for taking me. You're seriously a lost cause, Ryuichi. Is that what you think of Ryuichi Higa? Pretty much. Hmm? I think he's cool, though. But thanks. I'm not just saying it to be polite. This is really how I feel. Now you're just acting all cute. Huh? Did you make this lunchbox, Ryuichi? I did. That's amazing! Do you want to try some of it? Don't mind if I do. Oh, it's so good! You make delicious food! Uh, let me try too! You eat so much, you'll probably end up finishing it, so no. Mini. After school that day, on the way home, we saw a stage in the middle of being constructed at the shopping street. Mimi tilted her head in curiosity. Are they preparing for some kind of event? The guys in the shopping district occasionally organize stupid stuff like this to amuse the locals. This time, it's, uh, let's see... Declare your love from the center of the shopping street. What the hell are you saying? No, I'm not saying anything. That's what the event's called. Oh, right. In short, it's a it's shouting competition. Whether it's to your parents, your friends, someone you like, or whoever else happens to pop into your head, you would as long as you shout your message to them the loudest. It seems like the prize for first place are tickets to the amusement park. And one just opened too. So it's basically the premiere experience. How wonderful! Oh, it's the place you were talking about, Nico. You gonna enter? No way! It's a waste of my time! <laughs> I thought you'd say that. Maybe I'll give it a try. Huh? How about it, Ryuichi? Will you come to cheer me on? Why would he do that? I wasn't talking to you, Higa. What's your problem? I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, hold on a moment. Why are you still at each other's throats? So, whose side are you on? Don't even think about pulling me into whatever this is. But you'll come and cheer me on, right? Uh, that I can do. Sure, I'll be there. Yay! Thank you so much. Saying that, Mimi jumped for joy, while Nico's face sagged into a dark frown. Idiot Ryuichi, stupid, slow, airheaded moron! I'll be taking Ryuichi from you then. What? I fell for him at first sight, and all you do is make fun of him anyway. It annoys me. Why would that matter to you? Anyone would feel the same way if they saw the person they like being constantly ridiculed. And then a week passed in the blink of an eye. The event happened on a pleasant sunny day. There were many people gathered there, and the excitement was palpable. Now, please welcome contestant number three, Mimi Minami from Kanan High School. What do you have to say? 
Now that I'm standing on the stage, I'm super nervous. But I feel relieved seeing his face in the crowd. He's watching me right now. Ryuichi Kita, I like you. It was love at first sight. Please, go out with me. Huh? As I was expecting some kind of declaration of love and affection towards her family or something else along those lines, I was shocked to say the least. It was my first time hearing someone's true feelings said so directly to me in such a loud voice. After all, the one person I'd experience with always required me to read between the lines. To be honest, I was kind of happy. Over there, the young man with the super red face. Are you Ryuichi? If you don't mind, can you let everyone hear your answer? I, uh... Hold your horses! Right at that moment, a familiar voice echoed through the entire venue. Let me see my piece too! What a twist! Looks like we have a last-minute contestant. Seems interesting. So I'm giving you the go-ahead. Say what you want to say. Thank you. I could never be completely honest no matter how hard I tried. My feelings felt so big and had so much weight to them that I became deathly afraid of ever putting them into spoken words. But now that another weirdo who likes him has approached and isn't afraid to say it on top of that, I won't just watch it happen. I don't want him to be stolen from me. Ryuichi is mine. Ryuichi! I... But it seems like being honest and straightforward just isn't for me. I hate you! I hate you a lot! You're always so kind to other girls, and why do you keep looking at them in the first place? Well, you should be looking at me! And you looked so happy just now when Minami confessed to you. I hate you, I hate you, I really hate you! But... But still... But I like you a hundred times more than I hate you! I like that you stick with me no matter what happens. I like that you always end up forgiving me no matter how much I make fun of you. I like that you always offer me to help when I'm having a hard time. I like that you give me presents even when it's not my birthday. I like your face. I like that you're smart. I like that you're kind. So just go out with me already. I said it. I really said it. I was on the verge of hyperventilating and my legs feel like jelly. Uh, forget it! I didn't mean any of that! At the very last minute, my mind reverted to the normal mode of operations and I ended up ruining everything! Hey, about what you said just now. What? No, nothing. <laughs> but I did it. I won. Of course, it's no surprise I was the winner. Nico was satisfied with just the fact that she'd won the amusement park tickets. But I couldn't say the same for myself. Just when I thought she was finally being honest about her feelings, she had to take it all back to square one at the very end. The way she did it, I can't even give her an answer. Maybe I should have went with Mimi instead. Huh? Did you say something? Nope, nothing. <laughs> I lost in the end, but it was amazing to watch though. I didn't think she had such impressive lungs. Uh, Mimi, about your confession just now, I, uh, thing is, I've, uh, I've somehow always... Please don't say that anymore. I don't intend on giving up yet. After all, it's frustrating to lose to someone who can't even be honest about how she feels. And then she smiled the brightest smile I'd seen yet. More importantly, these tickets are for two people. Hmm? I wonder who I should invite. I'm sure there's loads of people who want to go. There she goes again. She can never just get straight to the point, huh? What do I do with this stubborn girl? I'm just gonna put it out there. What is it? Are you interested? It can't be helped, as long as you swear your eternal loyalty to me. I don't mind taking you if you really want to go. I don't have much uh, interest in amusement parks. Why, why? Tell me why! Does there need to be a reason? It's just a completely unproductive waste of time. Come on, I want to go with you, so you're going to. Let's go! I guess I have no choice. Really? As long as you swear your undying love for me, I can consider coming along with you. Hearing that, Nico blushed bright red. That's what you said. 
It looks like even Nico can be honest once in a while. <laughs>